Well, hello there, guys, and welcome to the Battle of Bouvigny. At least I believe I'm pronouncing it correctly. I, I could be totally mistaken on this one. We are going to be playing as the French defenders here against the Imperial might of the Holy Roman Empire. And they've even got that fancy Imperial flag and even a knight to pull it. Emperor Otto the Fourth is actually at the head of this army. So, of course, quite a lot going on, and uh, we're going to have to defend as the French. Now, the only th real thing I think I want to do um, is move up with my spearmen on the left side and the right side. As for my cavalry, all that, I am going to pretty much keep them right where they are, uh, with the exception of these sergeants. I'm just going to kind of move some of them off this way, some of them maybe off this way. As for my cavalry, all that. Let's make sure everything else is uh, going correctly here. All right, and potentially moving these um, these king's bodyguards as well. The king is right there, King Philippe Auguste. But I think for now, I'm just going to hold my position. So let's see what the Holy Roman Empire does. And of course, they're immediately moving forward with those knights. So I'm thinking if there's some way we can engage them with the spearmen, hold them there, and then of course come in with a flank attack with our own knights, that would be pretty great. Let's let's see if that actually occurs, though. Really large group here of Imperial units. Can we withstand them as France? Man, I sure hope so. Hello, Lorenzo Frederizzi. How you doing, man? All right, so I'm definitely thinking that wiping out that line of knights, um, almost like the Battle of Agincourt, if we can just sack those knights completely, then dealing with the infantry shouldn't be so difficult. But you can see these Brabonzen. Um, these are, of course, soldiers from Brabant. They're very well equipped. Many of them are mercenaries, quite vicious in combat, and they're the last people I want to come across in this fight. So again, trying to wipe the knights out first. Yeah, I'd rather fight knights over Brabonzen. Uh, only because we've got the knights to match. So there's the Holy Roman Empire. They're even bringing forward Emperor Otto IV himself. Let's see what we can do here in response. So they do have um, archers. We have no archers whatsoever during this fight. Um, which, you know, it's gonna we're going to have to take a few risks, I believe. Now, of course, if we chase, the enemy will likely run. So we've got to have an interesting approach here. I think what I'm going to do is just match them with our spearmen. Just kind of move up here. Let's just take a look here at what this would look like. If we actually remained in combat, it wouldn't be too bad at all. Um, let me try and close off the zone of control this way. And then see if maybe he'll stay in the fight. I don't think so, though. Oh, okay, he did. I was not expecting him to be that brave. We've got to be careful with these Imperials, and as you can see there, the chance of us winning this fight, not exactly great, although it's fairly even. Over here, for instance, it's absolutely terrible. I might still go for a charge, though. Maybe we just hold our line once again for another turn. The frustrating thing is those archers can really pick us apart as they wish. Let's get our crossbowmen forward. And with the crossbowmen, I'm going to start picking off at some of the uh, spearmen here. The armored spearmen, I should say. We're just going to move our, our French raw militia. is pretty useless, to be honest with you. I think it's going to be down to the crossbowmen here. Try and really damage the enemy. These are all raw militia. That's the tough part here, unfortunately. Um, now, if we hold, we actually do quite well here. So I'm going to hold one more turn. I might actually grab the Breton Knights and Sergeants and see if I can't engage one of these guys. 
Another option would be to attack from here, hold on, and then have our, our actual knights attack from the flank. The thing is, you can't get a flanking attack that quickly on a cavalry unit. Um, if you're attacking them from the side, they can fight back. Unless you're attacking from directly behind, you're kind of out of luck. So we're going to send in Philippe, Bishop of Biove, an actual bishop himself. I think this is one chance. It's just kind of trying to drive them off one at a time. There we go. And we're going to get our other um, Robert Count de Drew. It seems like here we really need to use our nobles. Now there, he actually got hit pretty bad. Not what I'm looking for. And what I'm going to do is actually just move this uh, cavalry unit in front of him. I'll also take some shots there with the archers. I think it's going to be quite important to get those um, those nobles out there. They can they can actually withstand the enemy's attacks. The rest of our knights are not quite up to the level of the Imperials. But let's at least get these French armor and militia forward as well. While the raw militia don't seem like they're going to be very helpful, the French mercenary spearmen and the French armored militia seem pretty strong. So here we go. Even with these French mercenary spearmen. And once again, we're just going to get right through with the archers and just try to damage their existing um, knight units here. Or try to force them to actually charge the archers. This would give us a bit of an advantage. What about here? All right, the Burgundian knights and sergeants. And here I think we have an opportunity to actually carry out this attack uh, in a somewhat more respectable, respectable way. Um, we still could potentially be forced back but I am going to take the risk here of a charge. Um, and hopefully the continuous strikes against those Flemish knights and sergeants will force them to retreat in time. In fact, if we wanted to be really sneaky, we could send this unit over too. I don't think I'm going to do that. What I might do is send, send some of these French raw militia forward. Why not? The rest I'm keeping behind. They're really just cannon fodder, essentially. They're sending the king to the left. We'll bring his bodyguard with him. And I think we can end the turn there. Let's see what the Holy Roman Empire does. Man, it seems initially in this battle that they have less men. That's certainly not the case. And certainly not less trained men these guys have very very good training we see that with all of their armor their methods of fighting but just the armor even on the spearmen is incredible um these guys right here the brabonsen absolutely horrifying as those spearmen get up we're going to be you know forced to fight in a sort of close combat battle instead of just a cavalry battle and that doesn't look good for us considering the level they have here and as you can see already the french mercenary spearmen not doing so hot the armored spearmen seem to be able to hold on but the french mercenary spearmen not doing great now we do have them locked into combat i might try to make the best use of that situation only time will tell Man, vicious attack. They are going right into our line here. I didn't expect them to be this aggressive, but they are absolutely trying to get a bite on us. It's just like a wild dog just trying to grab onto us so that they can beat us to a pulp. But this could be a chance. If they get enough of those units stuck in here, this could be a chance for some flank attacks. Who knows what else? See, these units are not so great against their cavalry, but our other knights are pretty good against their cavalry. Wow, now we've got a proper fight between knights. And of course, the emperor moves forward yet again. What are we going to do here, folks? This is where we could potentially get a break. He's still holding firm, but I get the, I get the feeling that this knight 
will break soon we'll go ahead and resolve the combat it's looking terrible there what about here looking great here it's fragmented it's definitely a good start now what if we charge this unit again this particular turn wouldn't be so good but next turn we'd actually be <clears throat> at a bit of an advantage so again something to consider what about over here hmm or even and this is a risky one but if we could get in here and try and get a flank attack on him i know that's going to go very well the problem is if the spearmen reach me before then i'm going to try it what the heck so next turn we will try to get a flanking attack there on that cavalry unit and in the meantime I don't think I want to risk it because our own Breton Knights and Sergeants here are also suffering. So I'm just going to hold position. Um, we'll at least turn towards the enemy. How about that? Turn towards the enemy here. Just kind of face everybody forward at the very least. And again, I want my best men at the front. So I am sending those spearmen to the very front of the fight. What about here, man? I know they're going to run the second I chase them. <clears throat> but maybe we should actually try to get stuck in with the enemy here. Um, no, I'm going to hold. Definitely going to hold. Now here, I will absolutely take a risk. Potentially even here... Um, if it was working out in our favor, unfortunately, it's not. These guys right here, the Sosane sergeants, are not going to do well against um, heavily armored knights. That's just not going to happen. And you know what? Just to test the enemy a bit... I'm going to just push this cavalry unit forward. Again, try and sort of bait him into attacking. Push this unit through as well, although this is raw militia, not exactly going to be very useful. Just turn and fire with our archers and hope that these guys are feeling better next turn. Uh, we will, of course, try to match the movement there of the rest of our spearmen. I really would love to attack here with one of my spearmen, or attack here, alternatively. But right now, the best thing to do is just kind of hold on and hope for the best. Typically, I love to do my crazy offensives, but it's not going to work in this battle. We had to resolve that combat. I'm hoping that at least next turn, maybe he'll break. And you know what? I am going to try to get stuck in here. It is a risk. Okay, we got it. We're stuck in. Beautiful. Now, that's not something I would recommend anyone else do. Uh, but now these French armored militia are actually locked in to the fight against the Bolognese knights and sergeants. I think that in improves our chances of victory... I wouldn't say significantly, but it improves our chances of victory. We have to resolve the combat. It's not going to go well in our favor, although at least it didn't go horribly wrong. All right, I think we're good. Make sure one more shot with the archers, of course. Move the spearmen over here on the flanks. And our knights as well. It's actually our king, good old King Philippe the second. All right, ending the turn. Not sure there's much more we can do. Some disruption amongst the Imperials. That's good. Unfortunately, maybe some disruption on our side too. Yeah, fragmentations there. And it's all about, in my opinion, cutting down their actual um, group of, of armored knights. They completely disperse that unit. Not good. Hopefully with the charges, they won't be too successful. But they're actually able to get in there. Typically, even when you've got a strong cavalry unit and you attack a spear unit, your chances of victory are pretty slim. Uh, that's not the case for these armored um, knights. Just not the case. <clears throat>
Oh man, fragmentation along the French armored militia line. Not good. We've got some fragmentation on their line here too, but when it's along our main line like this, I don't like it. It causes just massive morale checks all along the front lines here. Let's see what happens. We might be pleasantly surprised. All right. Be great if we could get behind the lines and kill Emperor Otto. That would finish the battle for sure. Unfortunately, this, this is a fairly realistic game when it comes to combat, and that's very unlikely to happen. Unfortunately, that unit broke. Let's see the morale checks. We got lucky. Most of our units held firm, but these morale checks are not going to help us. What about here? Disruption. And the enemy is doing pretty good on the morale checks. Um, the way it was explained to me by the actual creator of the game, yeah, there we go, Richard Bodley Scott. Um, like, the more trained an, an enemy unit is, the better equipped, the less likely they are to break, even when other units probably would in the same situation. And we've even got some rallies here amongst our knights. That is wonderful. Now, what I really want to see is I want to see these guys break through and actually send the enemy reeling here, first of all. I am going to get engaged over here. The spear unit. Second of all, I want to make sure I'm not sending in one of my um, dukes. Because he's right there. Let's just send in the Champagne knights and sergeants. And beautiful. A nice little break amongst the line. Unfortunately, our king, or actually not our king, one of our lords is going to continue into an attack here. It's looking okay, believe it or not. Um, and even over here... Our attack's looking pretty good um, against this French knight unit. So let's see if we can't go ahead, get this flank attack. I expected that to go a little bit better. For now, we'll hold on. Could also get locked in here, but I'm curious to see how much damage we could do. Just kind of trouncing in this way. Not looking great. They still held firm. So again, simply turning my spearmen to face the enemy here. I think that's just the wisest decision. We could actually get a decent charge. The, the, the danger is, next turn... We're still going to be doing okay, but they've got additional spear units here, and I'm hoping the zone of control is what's going to hold them in check here. So we did disrupt them, but again, a very risky move. I'd even like to get the King's Bodyguard unit here. Um, let's push the King's Bodyguard unit up once. Hopefully he'll be able to get in there next turn. We've got additional forces on the way. Now, this is the knight we brought all the way over here to do the flank charge. And it does look like it might work here. Here we go. Flank charge. Breton knights and sergeants. And he is definitely fragmented. I'm going to try to finish him off with the Mercenary Spearmen. Oh, he held firm. He did do a morale check, though. This will break him. Wow. Okay, maybe not. What about this? Oh, my goodness. Not even the king himself attacking made this guy break. That is a strong enemy unit. That's for sure. Um, let's turn... Actually, we'll just continue pushing forward. Kind of past the enemy lines. I'm also very concerned with those approaching, um, Brabonzonen. The guys from Brabant on the ground are just incredible. They've got tremendous armor. Uh, their ferocity is unmatched. It's, it's definitely not the kind of unit I like to face on the battlefield, I'll be honest. Now, this I don't like at all. Um, Philippe, Bishop of Beauvais, has, of course, charged into the enemy lines and gotten himself into a bit of a pickle uh, with that ferocious charge. Yeah, as you can see, the guys from Brabant, they're nothing to be messed around with. We could charge and try to get that initial damage down. I think that's our best bet. And even then, that didn't seem to work. It's going to be a tough next couple of turns, I can tell you that. I am going to risk it or chance it here as well. 
but as you can see that time completely went against us we should have shot first but still that was not good And I think that's about it. Um, can move these guys in as well. But as for all the French raw militia, they're not going to be all that helpful during this fight. So here's to hoping we can break some of these units. Uh, this turn, we're going to let the Imperials have it. Here we go. Octavian, game looks awesome. Should I buy this over the previous one? I think that depends entirely on what you prefer. If you prefer ancient warfare or medieval warfare, I really think it comes down to preference. Because in terms of like visuals, I I think this is like slightly prettier, but I, I think they're they're pretty similar looking, honestly. They play pretty similarly as well. Man, there we go. The Brabantees are making themselves known. Now, the actual um, difference in retreat here is pretty similar, 5% and 4%, but of course, that can change quite quickly. I want to see the combat resolve with that group of German knights. I'm almost certain we can break them down, and then who knows what all of this cavalry could do. Oh, flank attack into the cavalry. Never good. They did manage to actually disrupt one of the knights. Yeah, they've got us surrounded over here on the right side. That's not looking good for us at all. It's a lot of spearmen, though, so so who knows? Maybe, I maybe I'm panicking when I shouldn't be. No worries. No worries. Anybody wants an answer, I will provide responses. I love when people chat, because then I don't have to uh, come up with as much narration on the spot. I can actually kind of talk with you guys. That guy's got to break. Oh, we held firm. Okay. Still holding firm. Pretty incredible. Damn. Against the Brabantes, we did cause a morale check, but they still held firm. And I think it's only a matter of time. On the ground, in continuous close combat, they will win the day. There's no doubt about it. Here we go, caused a break, not bad. We also caused a disruption amongst the enemy spearmen and a general has fallen, guys. An enemy general has fallen. I don't know if this is gonna change things. So we're gonna have to wait and see, um, but certainly some fragmentations there amongst the Imperial line that I didn't see before. This is looking fun. All right, let's try and make some magic happen. First of all, the fragmentations. Uh, this guy should break on impact, actually. Let's just see. We'll attack. Maybe not. Fragmentation. He's fallen back. Usually, I wouldn't go for this charge um, since these Solonay sergeants, they cannot at all stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Flemish knights and sergeants. But since these guys are totally fragmented, totally disordered, and they're unmaneuverable, we're going to just charge right in there and slaughter them. And there we go. That's a break disrupted the spear unit behind it let's hope we can keep this going we can get a little a little thing going here in fact i'm going to turn fire and again the raw spearmen aren't going to do much but i can at the very least sort of call the enemy's bluff and just keep my spearmen there so they can't move past uh due to the zoc issues the zone of control issues You know what? I am going to dedicate my spearmen to this fight. Because they are very low in numbers, the enemy. We did hold firm, and we didn't actually fail the morale check, so I think that was a good, a good decision there. And I'm going to do the same over here, send in the French raw militia. 
I didn't think these guys could be helpful, but it looks like they may be helpful now. Damn, I'm annoyed at how well these guys can hold on. Um, let's help the Spearmen over here on the left side. That fragmented us, not what we were looking for at all. Hmm. Again, not looking too bad here. But what if we assisted with this attack? No, I think it's better if we hit the enemy spearmen. This is truly like an infantry battle all the way through on the right side. Just spears versus spears. Pretty grueling. Oh, disrupted. That's a break. Beautiful. Unfortunately, our guys going through never makes me happy, but a break is a break, and we've disrupted one of their uh, Brabanson crossbowmen unit. Let's get a shot over here on the Knights and Sergeants. It actually caused a morale check. Wow. Wow. What if we go for the Spearman? Oh my goodness. Here we go. King's bodyguard. We're going to help our boys win the day, although that's not looking good. The actual fight here against the Brabanson Militia Spearmen, not looking good at all. I told you these guys on the ground are absolute devils. Let's see what else we can do. Oh, but we caused a fallback. Not my favorite kind of disruption. Because, see, now we can't get another unit in here to get any sort of flank attack. Hey, what's up, Shin? Good to see you, man. Got to resolve the combat either way. And I will send in the Spearmen. Yes! Fragmentations! We could break him by next turn, potentially. I'm actually going to try to turn this guy in a bit. Try and close the gap around the enemy there. This is um, our Breton Knights and Spearmen. Of course, he ran through in an absolute, you know, vicious attack chasing the enemy. Now, at least we're behind the enemy over here. So eventually we'll break him. Um, but let's get rid of these Bologna Knights and Spearmen. They still held firm. Sneaky little bastards. Let's go again. They still held firm. What about against the Breton Knights and Sergeants? They auto-broke. Okay, nice. Unfortunately, Breton Knights and Sergeants may be going in for a flank attack. Of course, they're going to get destroyed next turn by the Brabanson, but they gave our king, or actually one of our dukes, Robert, um, another chance at victory here. I mean, the enemy we're facing are not messing around. The chance of a loss here is dramatic. We can't do it. We can at least move one of the spearmen up, though, and try and control the zone of control there. And we'll try to hold. This is not a good attack, but we're going to try to hold it. Oh, no. Very bad. What about over here? I might risk it just in an attempt to destroy them before the spearmen get here. Well, at least we forced them back. Um, not not great, but could have been a lot worse. Let's move back with this fellow. Let's get the knights in there. I'm not taking any responsibility for the messiness of the battlefield, <laughs> even though it's probably entirely my fault. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going to have to resolve this combat, so let's do it. We have no choice. I, I wish we could skip it, but... It's going to happen, whether we want it to or not. Pretty even, but honestly, the enemy has the edge here. If we just look at those forces, like the difference between their forces and ours, we can see just the massive armor, really uniformed uniforms. I hate to use those two words together, but just everything is really f well fitting. Let's put it that way. No baggy stuff. Uh, very, very decent uh, combat armor for the day. Let's see. I think we've attacked with everybody. Hmm. Oh, that's right. Still got these guys back here. 
It's gonna take him a while to get to the battlefield though. Okay, Bion, let's see what happens. I'd like to see some routing on the Imperial side like that, but I don't expect it's going to go on for long. Um, we've got a lot of units in bad, bad situations like that one. I think he's going to auto-break. He is holding firm to the end, which is awesome, but he will eventually auto-break if I had to uh, guess. And again, a flank attack here from the enemy, that's, that's not good. Over here, we're doing pretty well against their spearmen. Let's hope that continues. Told you that flank attack is going to be devastating. We took a risk, but not, not one that should have been taken. Uh, and now one or two more attacks against these Breton knights, and they will break. I think we might be able to break this Flemish Knight unit just because he's pretty low on manpower. But in terms of morale, the enemy is winning the morale battle at the moment. Yeah, it's going to be a break. Yep. We got lucky that our guys passed their morale checks, but there was no escaping that. Yeah. Again, I'm amazed our guys passed the morale checks, but uh, certainly more breaks on our side. We are causing some disruptions, but we need to cause like a domino effect here to come out on top. See, situations like that, unfortunately, the enemy was smart enough to fall back. But had we gotten a little break there, a little fragmentation, that's what gives us really a chance amongst the Brabantes. Yeah, I, I have to say I prefer Pike and Shot 100% over any Field of Glory game. But that's just because I like, you know, the Age of Gunpowder and all that stuff. And very few games are made about, about that era. And look at that. Another break on the enemy side. We've also disrupted cavalry here. And I've got a pretty good idea, or a pretty good feeling that we can break that crossbowman unit. Also, some rallies on our side. Even amongst the knights. Not bad, boys. Not bad. Now, this is where I'm getting excited. Remember, initially, we were doing really poorly here, but now we've got fragmentation happening. So let's see what the Champagne sergeants can do. Again, not much. Damn it. Come on. There we go, and we broke one of the cavalry units. We actually uh, also disrupted one of them. I don't like the flank attack, but that calmed down the knights and sergeants. They won't try that again. Uh, and let's see what we can do against this guy. Fragmentation. Let's send in the Duke of Burgundy. Boom. Hey, not too bad, guys. A charge. Also caused a disruption and a fragmentation amongst the enemy. It's it's not bad. I'm liking this a lot. Um, have to send in the archers just to get a shot. I keep calling them archers, but are, are, are crossbowmen really archers? I, I don't think so, right? Um... Winning battle with a chain of breaks is so satisfying. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's I, I've had it happen a few times, but it's certainly one of those things that uh, doesn't happen every time, definitely. I want to stop this cavalry because they're going to flank attack our unit next turn. I have no choice. Despite this being a pretty bad attack for our side, I'm trying to hold on um, so that he can't break through. In fact, if I want to be really sneaky, I can try to turn. I might do that. And I'll get the flank attack next turn. Um, I don't think their archers are going to try and charge us. Just doesn't seem likely. Fragmentation. This guy's going to go down, but there's no saving him as far as I can see. So what I'm going to do instead is try and break the crossbowmen. They're not going to evade here. There's no way they can't escape. And we've broken another unit. <laughs> And we routed into another um, Spearman unit. That one didn't work out as well as I expected. But nonetheless, that, that's interesting what's going on right now. Do we want to get in there in that fight? I'm not so sure. Nope. What about here? Yes. Yes. 
shall fight with you to the end, brothers. We're also about to get here with the armored sergeants. Uh, the, the actual horse cavalry armored sergeants, mind you. Uh, the French raw militia, again, I, I rarely use the raw militia during these battles. I think they're more of a hindrance than anything else, but I might make an exception here. Just going to try to kind of hold the line, but this guy will go down next turn for sure. Now, don't worry. It's the king's bodyguard, not the king. That's very important. Um, and just because we're going to get the flank charge here, I really do want to attack. Let's go for it. Oh, no, no disruption. No disruption. And let's just lock this guy in so that he doesn't get behind us. And just locking him in. This is another reason to keep the spearmen back here. Hmm. Yep, I see a unit about to break. I want to make that happen very quickly. We'll even send in our spears if we can. After all, we are getting a flank attack. He held firm. Damn, man. You know what? We can get another flank attack. For the spears. He held for... Come on, man. Uh, okay, now we got to get serious. I'm just going to turn towards the enemy. I'm not going to attack them. But I will charge in here with the Breton Knights and Sergeants. I'm amazed by this guy. I'm absolutely amazed by the German Knights and Sergeants. They have held on against all odds. Um, again, just trying to sort of box them in. Yeah, that's, that's not going to work. Kind of box them in here. And you know what? I'm going to try to get to those archers at some point. Hmm. Now here is King Philippe. Guessing we should probably get him to a safe location now. <laughs> um, he's not in a position where he can attack anyway, so I'm just going to move him over here. Move the armored sergeants forward here. Do the same with these guys. Hmm. Flank attack is a flank attack. What I was trying to do is get this spearman unit out of there so that I can get past with the Breton knights and sergeants. Um, and you know what? We might just be able to do that. In fact, we might be able to join this attack. This is wonderful. Um, against the Brabonzen, assisting the king, of course. So right now, the king is fighting these Brabonzen all on his own. It's a real shame. What else are we missing? Now, we could actually charge in here. Just there would be no point. That unit is in trouble. Let's move back with the archers, first of all. No reason to get them killed. And, you know, uh, I was going to say we could start moving this way with the cavalry. Yeah. Yeah. These guys were never going to get to the battlefield. It just takes way too long for them to actually get here. Nobody else that I really want to move. The worst aspect of Pike and Shot are the campaigns, but battles are great. I think that's true with all of these games. Field of Glory, Pike and Shot. Like, I'm not a fan of the campaign system. I think it's really simplified. Um, but I like the epic battles. Might as well turn in the direction, but... I don't see us attacking there. But you know what? Never say never. We'll start moving some of these units up. And... Let's end the turn. Oh, wait. There might still be some combat to resolve. No. Although they are looking a lot weaker over here than they were before. 
but I still think, despite the enemy casualties being in our favor, I still think they've got this one, especially with these damn German knights holding out against so many attacks. What is going on there? Yeah, we knew he was going to break. The question is not so much... Like, am I concerned about the units breaking? It's I'm more concerned about the morale checks to the units surrounding them. Um, that's that's the danger, really. Hey, some more breakage on the enemy side, and there's going to be a break here on our side. That's caused a bad morale check, as you can see, disrupting both of those spearmen units. This is why I don't like the raw spearmen. Um, their actual um, morale is quite low, so all it takes is a morale check, and they're out of there. We did just fragment another one of their units... Let's just see how it goes. And they are taking their chances against our spearmen with the cavalry. Oh, nice. Fragmentation. This is not so nice. The disruption caused by a flank attack here. They've actually just unknowingly put themselves into the direct line of our cavalry charge. <laughs> I'm um, not sure how that's going to work, but a lot of disruptions and fallbacks on our side. So we'll just have to see how this goes. And they've got us to 13% now, ever closer. They're going to keep charging with that cavalry until they get the best situation. Oh, amazing defense against the Brabantes there. I can't wait to resolve that combat. I hate those units. The Spearmen of Brabant. I mean, don't get me wrong. If I'm playing as them, they're amazing. But the Brabant Zonin against you are vicious. Like, one of the nastiest Spearmen units you can face. And now that we've actually got one that's about to break, I am going to do everything I can to break that guy. I don't want him returning to this field. Hold, boys. I hate how the knights can fall back the second they're about to break. That's the perks of having a horse, I guess. There we go, more. Look at that, guys. Two of their troops about to fragment. We just broke this one. Glad to get away from the field with that guy. We might break this one here. He's still holding firm. We got to give a lot of respect to the German knights and sergeants. The fact they held on that long was pretty amazing. Another break. We've got a little bit of a domino effect going on. How long can he continue? Another break. All hail France. Vive la France. It's looking pretty good. Those breaks were nice. I'm not going to lie, but it's not the end of the battle yet. All right, back to us. What else can we do here? I want to I wanna completely crush the enemy. I want to finish this war in style. Even here, we could get a pretty wicked attack, but I figured the best thing would be to turn and attack the enemy. What I really want to do, though, as you guys can see is provide some support to our poor French raw militia, our peasants, basically, and do a flank charge, causing a disruption. They did hold firm, but I like to think that that was not fun for them at all. And I'm going to turn... See, here's the thing. I want to turn my cavalry over here and hit this, this knight. But see, then the enemy spearmen can just attack me. Just get a really nasty attack. However, if I'm over here, they can't turn and attack in the same turn. So I'm going to move the cavalry here, and next turn, hopefully, I get a flank charge against the feudal levies. Uh, that could cause a massive, massive break. Yeah, pretty much the same win conditions. Pretty much the same. I think um, we either get to 45 with an acceptable difference, or we have to get to 60%. Hello? All right, this is where the real problems begin to make sure that we crush the enemy completely. Now, that's a nice flank charge, but this is an even nicer flank charge. Just means we don't get to target the enemy knights. Yes, please. 
We're coming to your aid, Spearman! Okay, well, not, not that quickly, apparently. Damn, the German feudal foot are really, really tough to break. Uh, we have to resolve this combat, no choice. Got lucky there. And I'm almost tempted to attack here, but I know better. Just go ahead, hit him there. Oh, nice little disruption, you know what? Now I'm actually kind of willing to take the risk of potentially falling back. Let's go for it. Eh, not a good risk that time. <laughs> Can't always be a victory, right? Hmm. This is King Philippe himself. Not sure I want to attack head on with King Philippe. And I definitely want to get the enemy engaged with us first so that they're focusing here. Now I might send in um, our cavalry. Although we're better off actually hitting the archers. Um... It's not happening this turn, but next turn at least, they're going to encounter some disruptions. Hmm. Yeah, let's just try and cause panic amongst the archers. I don't typically do this, but since we can break them really fast, um, I'm going for it. And again, I'll keep boxing in the enemy, but first I really want to break those Brabanzon, and it's too good to be true as far as I'm concerned. Here we go. Yeah, see? They're they're holding. They're holding pretty well. Come on. I knew that was going to happen. I told you guys it was too good to be true. Um, what I will do, like I said, is just go ahead, make sure the enemy doesn't get past your kind of control the zone, basically. And I want to save the king, so... Gotta cut down these guys, but wait a minute. Potentially another chance to attack the Brabanzonen and cause some serious damage. Or even just get a flank attack over here on these guys. It's definitely risky, but if we remain in the fight, we'll do pretty well. But then again, the enemy could flank attack us, so no. Okay, holding firm. Again, just going to control the zone here, control the area. Um, we'll turn around. It's a shame we can't turn and attack in one turn, but I like that they keep that realistic because we're working with a lot of armor here. Um, but we'll send in the archers. Just get a shot. And again, this is one of those situations where if we can lock in combat and remain in combat, we'd actually do quite well here. So what I'll do, bring him forward. And maybe we attack next turn, if we're able to hold on, of course. If we lose, it's going to be because of enemy spearmen. That's that's all I have to say. Oh, wonderful. We have some more of the armed knights. Destroy them. Yes, Alexander, you know what we have to do. I speak more like a Quebecois person than, than an actual French person. Give us a victory. Yes! Fragmentation! C'est très bien. I think we break him here, guys. Yep. That's gonna be a break. Disruption on the archers, too. We won't catch him, but it's the thought that counts. Uh, they are running in terror. Uh, so now I will move up some of the French raw militia, really just to hold the gaps. These are sort of peasants that carry weapons but never are supposed to actually fight. They're just there to make the army look bigger. That's their entire point. Nothing else. Um, and so that the Lord can keep an eye on them <laughs> and they're not back at the manor house stealing things. You must come with me on campaign, you stupid bastards. All right, I'm going to immediately try and get an advantage here with the with the uh, spearmen, of course. Let's turn it over to Das Deutsche. Oh, cool, Devil in Core. Yeah, that's actually, um, that's interesting you mentioned that. That's a company I did some uh, public relations work for, um, Avalon, Avalon Digital, really cool guys. And, uh, yeah, the game is based on the original Africa Core. I will say, though, the rules are quite different. Um, there are some similarities, but there are differences in the rules. It's not a remake of the board game. 
It's just, you know, it takes parts from the board game. See, this is why the French Raw Militia, not my favorite unit. Any Raw Militia, mind you. Okay. It's doing, we're doing okay. 29% charge. Now, this is what's got me worried. The enemy spears. Oh, 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 oh. It's going to be rough. Against the, the, uh, the mercenaries that the enemy has brought to fight for them here. There's the Emperor. Now, if we could kill the Emperor, take the Imperial Banner, I wonder if that automatically ends ends the game there. Hey, nice defense by our Spearmen once again. Unfortunately, not there. The Raw Spearmen, you can really see the difference in the class of units just in the way that they deal with, um, with these checks. You know, the ones that are like Raw Spearmen, etc., they break pretty easily. Those that are fairly well armed, they can hold out almost to the very end we saw those enemy um knights and sergeants the armored knights and sergeants pretty much hold out until the last man you know that just goes to show you the dedication if you take care of your men you're gonna you're gonna see some pretty good uh dividends after all is said and done now even though that guy is not fragmented he's very low on men it's another uh, possibility for an attack and, oh, I don't think we're going to be able to get the flank attack with the ca the cavalry there because our guy fell back. It might still work. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Come on, boys. Yes! Finally broke those Brabants on in. I didn't think it was possible. They held firm. The damn German feudal foot, man. These are just peasant units, but they're very good, very efficient. All right. First of all, I'll just break this guy. Um, this could be an easy chance to take out a knight if we can get the flank attack. Yep. Oh, I really didn't want them to pass the morale check. Flank attack. Still held firm. Um, this isn't exactly in our favor, but again, if we can hold on a turn, then we will be fighting with class next turn. And thankfully, we passed the morale check, so I'll take that one. That's not too bad. All right, let's see if we can get rid of these guys that have been harassing the king for God knows how long. First of all, can we get a flank charge against their cavalry? We can. All right. I should have shot first. I got a little excited. Definitely should have shot first, but look at this double flank charge. And if we break through here with the king, I think he'll charge right into them and get a third flank charge. Let's see. Although these guys are really tough. Damn, man, they will not break. They just will not break. All right, then. Got to resolve the combat. There's some fragmentation. That's what I'm looking for, especially with the Brabanzon and attacking us like that. It would really work out if we could break that unit and get out of here, but I don't think so. don't think it's happening. What about over here? This is another big opportunity for massive breaks. Just using those spears to slowly sling these guys off their horses and absolutely stab them to death. Cut them to ribbons, boys. Man, he's still holding on. They are still holding on. He just fragmented, just barely. Uh, 
Um, and actually, I think, yep, flank attack. And yeah, the battlefield is so much larger than I imagined it to be. Really putting it into perspective now. Uh, we've got no choice. We've got to do this. And I think that attack next turn will finish off this unit. There's nothing we can do to shut off that zone of control. But here... Still holding firm. The fighting spirit of the, uh, of the Imperials is something to behold. I will say that. Here we go. Yeah, not working out in our favor there at all. I mean, again, they're just holding firm, man. What can you do when the enemy holds like that? Absolutely nothing. We had to resolve the combat. That's going to push us back for sure. Thankfully, we passed all the morale checks. Fragmented enemy, but again, it's going to be a rough one. I can't wait to see the casualty count on this battle. It will be bloody. This is another unit in danger of breaking. In terms of morale, they're looking great. The problem is the amount of men in here. Uh, they're at half strength, 56 out of 102 men. So that just goes to show you the, the danger in these situations. And I am going to dedicate this um, spearman to the attack. Because again, they're so low on men that it could just come down to pretty much breaking their manpower. Same here. Same exact situation here. They don't have enough men to uh, to really cause any damage. All right, I think we've moved just about everybody. Ah, that's right. We're coming for you. We're going to be going after the archers next turn. In fact, we can turn and fire at them already. Yeah, nothing we can do there. My fear is we're, we've are we been locked in over here in the north. I'll show you guys. And I think that means this unit will be hit next turn. Hmm. Yeah, right here. We actually got ourselves stuck because we were trying to get a charge into these levees. But now, the feudal levees have got us kind of cornered here. Really weird situation to be in. All right, over to the Imperials. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, we're still chasing the enemy here. A lot of those knights dropping their swords and dispersing. But as we can see here, some Imperial rallies as well. So, I don't know. I don't like this. The enemy forcing us back. Although it's funny, sometimes the pushbacks inadvertently get the enemies trapped into ambush scenarios that's not the case here but you know they don't always work uh, for you or for the enemy disruption there not good a lot of red on the enemy side too we just need those breaks to happen and we need them to happen soon this one's gonna break yeah unfortunately and that caused a disruption amongst our knights they were doing so well as as well so we'll see what happens wow Really good charges here by the Imperials. They're not even going to allow our knights to get that flank charge. Now, we didn't take too much damage there. I thought we were going to get completely slaughtered, but still, uh, it's obviously a problem. Another one of our units breaking morale checks. Lots of disruptions. Not good. Now it looks like the enemy is the one getting these sort of combos...
Come on, boys. Hold on. You were doing so well. Little bit of good news there. Enemy auto breaks. But they passed the morale check in terms of the knights. We'll just have to see how that develops. Like I said, a lot of the enemy units are just lacking manpower. Like right there, they're going to auto break as well. Causing a disruption. Okay, okay. Not as horrific a turn as I thought. We're causing another break there. But they're they're passing all those morale checks. It's like they, they have a little more hope that they can win this battle than we do. Or than our men do. The majority of them anyway. But there we go. A group of knights. All held firm, incredibly. Come on, boys. And an archer has broken there. We'll have to see what it ultimately leads to. But that's that was nice. Towards the end there, that very much favored us. Just towards the end, though. Oh, nice! We actually caused another break. Uh, the um, one of the night units decided to keep on going. Well done, man. All right, we gotta we gotta try to get to that forty-five percent now, and I think we can do it, which would lead to, of course, a victory with a fifteen percent difference, right? So let's see what we can do. It's a break. Additional charge against one of their cavalry units. Unfortunately, that one went against us. <laughs> Did not work out at all. Uh, what if we also do a flank charge against this unit? All right. I think we got lucky having that unit there. We'll send in the French raw militia. We've talked so much trash about them, but you know what? Now they can actually help us quite a bit. And I'll even... You know, I'll just shoot. I was going to charge in with the crossbowmen, but uh, that's just not a safe choice. What if we do something like this and send in these spearmen to assist? Cool false. Yeah, we had no choice. We had to attack. Resolving that combat is half the battle. That's what... I, oh, he held firm. I thought he was going to break. And see, having to resolve that combat, the Robin Zonin is definitely going to cause a break to that unit. Maybe not. Still, it's not the situation I was looking for. Damn, they are good. Like I said, those German feudal foot, some of the finest, uh, fairly affordable foot units that I've seen in this game. They're really good. Wow, nice. Easy break there. I almost kind of got that one for free. And we might even be able to break the Bolognese Knights and Spearmen. The Bolognese thing is making me hungry, by the way. Uh, hey, Pixel, both the French and the German Imperialists are nice. Yes. So one of the fun ones of the epic battles, a real pitch battle too. Oh, indeed. We really get to see the knights, you know, facing each other in this one. Uh, it's beautiful. Beautiful fight. Oh, très bien. We're sending in the bishop himself. It actually just improved the odds for our standard spearmen as well. We have to resolve the combat. I have no choice. That's not looking good, though. Okay. That's not too bad. Ooh. It's not considered the greatest option, but you know what? I can still charge. I don't know if I can charge with the French Light Archers, maybe just with the Armored Archers, but I'm still going to send them in. The Armored Crossbowmen, I should say.
just to make sure the enemy doesn't have any crazy ideas about returning to the fight. And right here, we've got uh, an archer unit just easily, easily killed. So let's do that. Hmm. Yeah, we might as well get in there. Really no point. They've already broken. Uh, let's end the turn and hope that this is a victory. I'm really hoping... Oh, interesting, Pixel. By the way, man, you've got to join me and uh, Bostova in Valheim. If you haven't, if you haven't already gotten the game, you've got to join us. I know you'd be uh, an awesome addition to that server. Now, the only issue is if they even out the breaks here and we don't get that 15% difference. It might even be a 20% difference. Um, I, I don't quite recall. But we'll see. Fight until the death, boys. Do not surrender. Nice. Caused another break on their lines to 50%. And that's continuing through. We're getting very close to the Emperor here. In fact, we might be engaging in combat with the Emperor, uh, with the Imperial Standard behind him. How insane would it be if we killed Emperor Otto during this fight? That would be worth it. You might be right. A lot of people have made that suggestion that it's sort of like it's going to it's going to have a really, really fast rise and a really, really fast fall. I guess I guess only time will tell. Uh, I'm loving it at the moment, though. We we're so close to victory. If we can just hold on. Those spearmen are insane. Who could possibly stand against those long spears? Another break on our side. I don't know. They might be able to save themselves. Can our boys hold is the ultimate question here. Okay, one of the enemy generals fell. That might be Emperor Otto. That might be the Emperor. Uh, I'm not sure, but definitely one of their generals just kicked the bucket. And look at their units here. One of their units auto broke. Another one auto broke. We fragmented another one. This is the domino effect we needed. And hopefully this leads to total victory. Now, don't get excited. Historically, the French did win this battle, so I'm, I'm not a strategic hero here by any by any stretch of the imagination. Um, nonetheless, a fun little fight. And unless something crazy happens, I think we've got it. I think we've got it. No, I have not. But the enemy has lost heart. We are victorious. Very, very nice. We are going to let the enemy um, withdraw gracefully. This is not total war. Uh, but let's just take a look at the actual um, lists, the casualty lists. So it looks like killed on the Imperial side, 744 infantry, 369 cavalry for a total of 1,113. A lot of wounded there too. We still lost 512 though. Um, at the end of the day, of course, taking the enemy army prisoner, captured, deserted. A fun little battle. And I hope you guys enjoyed and, uh, and had a good time. Um, again, we're trying to do more streams here on YouTube. Um, let's hope that that has been working. Uh, real quickly, I want to make sure that everybody has the Discord server for the actual channel. So let me leave a link to that here, if YouTube will let me.
and if anybody likes you know non-mainstream strategy or non-mainstream games <laughs> non-strategy games sorry it's late um it's uh it's nearly midnight here um then please consider also joining the twitch channel which you can find here um and just follow us there we play all sorts of stuff swat 4 valheim a bunch of other games that we never really would put on the actual um youtube channel so uh thank you so much guys for watching i'll catch you on the next one fun little battle of bouvigny and you know again nothing special here um i won as i should have won because the french won historically but a fun little fight nonetheless i'll catch you on the next one folks Hit that like button. You know you want to. You know you want to touch my like button. That's right. That Yeah. Put your finger on it. That's right. Yeah, this feels wrong, doesn't it, guys? <laughs> See you next time.